Hello there, in this video I am showing how I made this self watering smart pot using NodeMCU. It has the following features. We can monitor the soil moisture and water level of the container through the smartphone. Also we can monitor the temperature and humidity of the plant surrounding. It will automatically irrigate when the soil moisture goes low. We can manually irrigate the plant through the app. The pot also act as the water container. So if you want to know how to build this, stay with me. Let's get started this video. The heart of this project is this node MCU. Next we need two capacitive soil moisture sensors. One for monitoring the soil moisture and one for water level. A DHT11 sensor an L293 d motor driver module. You can also use a relay, two 194007 diodes, a battery, a small pump with hose. Here I chose capacitive type moisture sensor over normal type to avoid corrosion and for better reading. First I tested the circuit using a breadboard. After verifying, I decided to build it permanently. For that, first I took a small dot PCB. Then I placed female header pins and soldered them. After that I placed male header pins and a JST connector for sensors. Then I connected and soldered the rest of all components according to the circuit diagram. After completing the soldering job, I connected one moisture sensor to the circuit for calibration. After uploading the code, first hold the sensor on air and read the value. This is the dry value of the sensor and note this. Next dip the sensor in a glass of water and read the value. This is the wet value of sensor. Note also this. After calibration, let's set up the port. Here you can see I am using this type 2 layer port. Then I made a hole in the inner port. Next I glued one side of the hose using hot glue. Then I inserted the hose through the hole and arranged it in a circle shape. After that I made some small holes in the hose using my old soldering iron. Then I tested the water flow. Now I placed one moisture sensor inside the outer port. This will act as the water level sensor. I attached the circuit on the side of the outer port. Then I filled water. Remember to don't exceed the sensor line. I already planted a berry tree in the inner port. Now I attached the motor pump to the hose and submerged it in the water. And finally I placed the inner port in the outer port. Now let's place the sensor in the soil and let's connect everything. Now it's time to set up the app. First I installed the Blink application from the Play Store. In the app first you have to sign up with your email. After that you will get an interface like this. Now click on new project and give a name. Then choose the device as Node MCU. Then click create. Now you will get a pop-up message and that say an authentication token was sent to your email id. Now click on the top right corner plus icon. Now select the gauge. Add two more gauges and click on one gauge. Now name the gauge as soil moisture. Select pin as virtual pin V6 and in this range section change the default values to 0 to 100. In the same way change the gauge for temperature and humidity. The only change is in the virtual pins. You can change the color and make it more attractive.
Now again click on the plus icon and add a level V widget. This widget is for showing the water level. So I named it as water level and selected the virtual pin V5. Also change the range. Finally I added one button widget and this is for controlling the water pump. In this case I selected the digital pin 2. So that's all about the application. Now let's upload the code. This is the code. First I included the necessary libraries. And then I gave the blink token and Wi-Fi credentials. Here I put the calibration values. In the first void I read the temperature and humidity of the DHT sensor and send it to the blink server. In the main loop section first I turn on the water level sensor and at the same time I read the analog value. Then I turn off the water level sensor and turn on the soil moisture sensor and read the data. Then I map those values to 0 to 100. Then I send these values to the Bing server. Finally I gave a condition for turning on and off the pump. You can refer the article for better explanation. Finally, I added a battery to the circuit and turned on my Wi-Fi hotspot. That's it. Now in the app, you can see the soil moisture, water level, temperature and humidity. See the working when I remove the sensor from the soil. That is when I remove the sensor, moisture goes slow. Also, we can manually turn on and turn off the pump using app. Finally, see the temperature variation when I place the soldering iron. So that's all about this project. You can find a detailed article about this project including circuit and code from the link given in the video description. So if you enjoyed and learned something from my video, please give me a like, share and subscribe. All up to you. I will see you next time.